Det er mod. Det er for. Just now meet yourself. Hi, Kron. Can you hear me? Yep, go for it. Okay, that was absolutely a brilliant session, actually. And while I felt that I would be like a little left around and be very confused, um, I find it a little amazed that I was able to follow it through. Especially because when I joined the course, I thought I would be more all the training uh, sessions. And I felt that after a, a week or so, I was kind of avoiding because I was not able to follow him very easily sure. or maybe I wanted to go on, you know, doing as the others were doing. So that was a brilliant uh, session, I think. Uh, I wanted to ask, so like uh, in this session, what we saw is that Jodi went through a lot of uh, uh, emotions. She went through anger, she went through sadness, frustration. Uh, and you talk about uh, emotional trans method. Yeah, we'll do that so on. Would so. Have been, so would have be, would it have been better? We could have taken that same or uh, that route of as uh, where is she feeding all these emotions? Yeah, it's not that it would have been better. It's just another option, and we'll do this on day two. We'll talk about the ETM or known as the emotional trance method. It's just how to utilize a client's emotions if they yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, not better, but yeah, that could have also been. Yeah, but we don't have to. It's just what we're doing. I'm waiting for my client to tell me what needs to be done. If they're emotional, cool, I can do ETM, which is really the only technique, if you want to give that, that we use. But my client gives me so many different avenues into where we can take them. And if all roads lead to Rome, some are quick, some are short, mm -hmm. we'll get there eventually. But again, as a therapist, I want to have choice. It sucks yeah, when sure. you go to do a regression and your client says, I can't visualize anything. What do you do? Yeah. Now you got to force them. What's the fucking point? I'm waiting for my client to tell me what to do, and I just utilize it, and it makes us seem like a wizard. But I'm just, I'm just very patient. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I have one more question. Uh, well, I know that you always talk about we don't have to find out the root cause because we will never probably know. Mm -hmm. It's all uh, jumbled up there in the unconscious. But uh, will it be okay for me to clarify that in this oh. case, in Jody's case, uh, it started from the client, but it ultimately boils down to uh, her father thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it was like, you know, where she was, she actually loved her father, but she was kind of uh, struggling to accept that she loves him. Yeah. And then it was like, you know, something related with failure and all that. So finally, uh, with all this uh, beautiful session, we were finally able to conclude, as of course the story part also, that uh, she could finally, I think, uh, you know, she could put the boulder out of her of her uh, chest and yep. accept that she loves her father and that she can, and her father is success and she can make him a success and she herself will be success or something like that. Yep. So all of those things, not sterile root causes. Okay. What I'm not doing, hopefully you guys would see this, and what Paul didn't do, which is brilliant, he didn't go in knowing what the root cause was, because how fucking could he? How the hell yeah. did he think about where this land? How could you prepare for that? Yeah. What script would you use? We had a dozen knots. Do you read a dozen scripts? It's impossible to prepare. We just go, yeah, with, sure. it's like a flow. Now, all of these different knots, these different layers, they could all be root cause. Just imagine the dominoes, we've knocked them all down. And yeah. there could be another 10 that are going to get knocked down later. And tomorrow we'll look at the processing chat. We'll look at that tomorrow. Processing is where the therapy is, do, is, is working. What Paul did there was actually not the therapy, if you want to get technical. What he's done is he, he's untied all the knots and pushed Jody into a room where she can start doing the therapy on herself, which is the healing part. And Jody would do that for herself, not us. It's called processing. We'll talk about that tomorrow. That's why I don't believe in audios and all that bullshit. We'll look at that tomorrow. But the therapy yeah. starts once your client has choice. Two yeah. days from now, Jody comes back and says, you know what? I figured it all out. I love my father. I love my family. But fuck them. I'm moving to Mexico. Because that's what I really want to do. Fantastic. Go do that. Okay, okay. Two days for her to get to that. Now... And again, this is where a lot of the sort of traditional therapies, you'll see a lot of like testimonials. They say, I saw so-and-so and now my life has changed. It doesn't happen directly after a session. It might happen a week from now, a month from now. There's processing. There's 
there's a lag yeah. time between the end result. And that end result might mm -hmm. take two years, but that person will change slowly by slowly. It's the unconscious mind trying on the best suit. Tries on the jacket, mm -hmm. tries on the pants, doesn't match. Tries on different jacket, different pair of shoes, that doesn't match. Eventually we'll find the best suit for that person and bang, we have an outcome. So the outcome doesn't happen at the end of the session, guys. The outcome happens later. And again, we'll talk about that later, again, with more principles, but that's what we're going for. Yeah. We've just untied all of Jody's knots so she can think again. She can do what she wants. She's not stuck in a thought loop where every time she tries to solve the problem, she gets sucked into the same solution again. That solution's not working anymore. Now when she thinks about the problem, there's all these new different avenues or different ways to think about it. So I have unchained her from that thought loop. There's freedom again. She'll pick a couple of good things and pick a couple of bad things. I don't know what she'll do with it, but the, the pieces of the puzzle will all come together. And the best thing of all, she does it. I don't have to do a single thing except untie those knots. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome.